All right, what's up? It's me, GA88. I'm back here with another video. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about uh, different patterns of the ABC M17 carrier, or more specifically, the M15 field protective mask carrier. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Today's video is going to be talking only about the uh, the ABC M17 uh, carriers. Uh, so the original M15 carrier, not the M15A1. Uh, this is just the M15 carrier. This is talking about the different patterns of the M15 carrier. I might do a video in the future about the later carriers, but I don't know. Uh, today's video is only going to be talking about the M15 carriers, though, for the ABC M17. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be going over all the differences in the M15 carrier's design between uh, when it was first introduced and when, uh, you know, it was starting to be phased out with the M15A1 with, you know, the M17A1 and later masks. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll kind of just get into it here. Uh, as you can see, I have every pattern of the M15 carrier that was issued. Uh, I got first pattern, second pattern, and third pattern. Uh, these two down here are third pattern. This one's a first pattern, and that's a second pattern. So I'll tell you how I identify the differences there on the different patterns here, I guess, right now. So starting off here, I'll tell you the details about the first pattern M15 carrier. Now, this was the, the first pattern M15 carrier. This was introduced alongside the ABC M17 when it was adopted in March 1959. Uh, little, there's little difference between it and the uh, E13R9 carriers uh, that were issued with the E13R9. Uh, they still have the chemical core logo on the carrier, which this was removed on the second pattern carrier. Uh, you can, so yeah, you can see your US stamp, which typically it's in big bold lettering, as you can see. Your chemical core logo, which is only on the first pattern carriers. And you have Mask Protective Field M17 stamped right there. Uh, the nomenclature does change with some of the later carriers, and I'll go into that here in a little bit. But yeah, uh, if, it ha if it says US, it has the chemical core logo on it. It says Mask Protective Field M17, it's a first pattern carrier. And then on the bottom there, you got your size stamp. On the side here, you have your decontamination kit pocket. This one is the smaller pocket that was used on the first and second pattern carriers for the uh, M5, uh, the M5A1, M5A2, M5A3, and M5A4, uh, per, you know, treatment sets. Uh, I have the treatment set in there. Uh, I, I have it in there kind of just to show you the size of the pocket. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty small especially when you compare it to uh, later pattern carrier's pockets. Uh, you can see the shoulder strap pocket, which inside the shoulder strap pocket, there is a loop in there. Uh, this is only on the first pattern carriers. There is a loop inside the shoulder strap pocket for storing the anti-dim loop. Uh, so there's that. Like I said, this is only on first pattern uh, carriers because very early M17s were issued with anti-dim cloth. From what I can tell, around uh, 1963, 1964, uh, the anti-dim cloth was just removed from a standard issue kit. I'm guessing they just didn't think it was necessary uh, to be issued. But yeah, there's that. There is a pocket on the bottom here for the waterproofing kit. This doesn't really change through any of the kits, but uh, you mean any of the patterns of the carriers, but you can see it right there. You have uh, your little, uh, out, you know, your little side keeper uh, slots right there for, uh, you know, belt carrying your carrier, uh, which you, you almost never saw that actually being used. Uh, typically this is just waist or shoulder carried. Uh, I've basically never seen actually a photo of anyone using uh, the little side keeper, uh, you know, slits on this. Uh, you could just put side keepers on these and clip them onto your belt. Uh, it was an official way of carrying the carrier, but uh, it doesn't seem that many uh, soldiers actually used that method. Uh, there's nothing really else to note. You got the inside of the carrier, you got your pocket for your islands outserts when they're not in use. Uh, there isn't really much else to talk about on this carrier. Uh, so yeah, that's a first pattern M15 carrier. Now I'm going to put this back down and we're going to grab a second pattern. So this is a second pattern, uh, M15 carrier for the M17. Uh, the first pattern, so, uh, a few things changed from the first pattern carrier. Uh, this carrier was introduced sometime in around, I'd say, like mid-late 1963 or so. So, uh, sometime around then. Uh, so, uh, the main difference on this carrier is going to be on the stamps on the front of it. As you can see, the stamps are slightly different. The main difference being 
the Chemical Core logo is no longer on the carrier. Uh, I don't know why they, why they did this, but uh, they removed the Chemical Core logo off of the carrier. So the United States Chemical Core logo is no longer stamped on the carriers with the second pattern. And uh, that honestly, the first pattern M15 carrier was basically the last carrier to ever use the uh, you know Chemical Core logo actually stamped on the carrier. So uh, basically, I'm guessing sometime around 63, 64, they had removed the uh, you know regulation or whatever that required them to stamp the Chemical Core lo uh, logo on the carrier. So it's removed now. There's no Chemical Core logo on the carrier. As you can see, it just says U.S. Mass Protective Field M17. No Chemical Core logo. You can see the size stamp right there which is medium again. Uh, another note, another thing you might note is that, as you can see, the anti-dim loop is gone in there. It's not present. Uh, they removed it on the second pattern carrier. Uh, there's not really any difference in the pockets. They're still the same size for uh, the M5 series uh, protective ointments. This one, I actually have side keepers installed on it, as you can see. So you can see what the side keepers would look like if they were installed on the carrier. Uh, there isn't really too many other differences here. So, yeah, uh, that's really the only difference is that they removed the anti-dim loop and they also removed the chemical core stamp off of the carrier. So this was introduced sometime in around mid-late 1963 to replace the first pattern uh, on the production lines. The first pattern was still saw issue all the way through Vietnam. Uh, they they really never really saw it stop seeing service. They were still used with training issue kits and all that throughout the 70s. Uh, but on production lines, this was replaced. Uh, this replaced the first pattern. And uh, basically any new mask issued between 63 and later typically had these second pattern or later carriers. So yeah, there's that. Uh, you can see minor color differences, but I'm not really going to get really in, in depth into the shades, you know, shade differences of the carriers. So there's the second pattern. So now we're going to be talking about the final pattern of the M17 carrier, or the M15 carrier for the M17. And that is the third pattern. The third pattern is, it's just as easy as the other ones to, uh, you know, distinguish. I have two third pattern examples here. The one on the right looks pretty close to the second pattern, but there, it, there is, uh, it, it is definitely easy to tell the difference if you know what you're looking for. So uh, here is a third pattern carrier. This one, I would I would date this one for like late 60s, like 67, 68, 69, right around there. Uh, but this one, uh, the only really the only difference between uh, the second and third pattern carriers is that the pocket has changed. The decontamination kit pocket has changed from that small pocket for the M5 to a bigger one that would fit the the ABC M13 decontaminating and reimpregnating kit. So as you can see, the pocket is slightly bigger to fit that uh, decontamination kit. You can see it side by side with the earlier pocket right there. It's just slightly bigger. Uh, that's the only difference basically in the carriers. I believe they might have extended this, the length of the carrier. Uh, don't quote me on that though. It doesn't really. I guess it kind of doesn't really look like it. But uh, that's basically the only difference is that they, uh, you know, added that. You know, they made the pocket a bit bigger to fit the ABC M13 uh, decontaminating and reimpregnating kit. So this is the final pattern of the M15 carrier for the ABC M17. Uh, you can see another example right here that has the earlier style stamping. But as you can see, it has the later pocket. Uh, it almost looks like this one was modified. Uh, this 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 pocket, I believe, may have been an earlier pocket that I believe they redid. Uh, it looks like they actually added some extra canvas on there so that it would fit an M13 kit, but I don't know. Uh, this is a third pattern too, because it's got the bigger pocket for the M13. Uh, you can see there, this one's training issue from like the 70s. Uh, but yeah, there isn't really much else to talk about here. It's still got the belt loop. That was removed on the M15A1 when they introduced the M17A1 in 66. But uh, it was like right around 65, I believe, like late 64, 65, uh, right around there that they introduced the third pattern. They introduced the third pattern right alongside the ABC M13 decontaminating and reimpregnating kit uh, for, you know, since it wouldn't fit the, the, obviously the kit wouldn't fit in these earlier pockets on the first and second pattern because uh, 
you know, it's, it's very small and it only fits the treatment set. So they basically enlar enlarged the pocket like to twice its width or whatever so that it can fit the bigger decontamination kit. So that's all the differences in the carriers. I'll just kind of run through it one more time. So first pattern, chemical core logo on the front of the carrier. Uh, early, uh, you know, the smaller pocket for the M5 treatment set. Anti-dim loop inside of the shoulder pocket. Uh, and that's really the main differences with that one. So small, small decontamination kit pocket, chemical core logo, and uh, anti-dim loop in the shoulder strap pocket. Uh, second pattern, remove the anti-dim loop out of the shoulder strap pocket. And there's no chemical core logo on the front of the carrier. Still has the smaller pocket. Uh, third pattern, they enlarged the pocket, and they did change the nomenclature on the front of the carrier. I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, they changed the nomenclature from Mass Protective Field M17 to Mass Protective Field ABC M17 uh, alongside when they introduced the uh, M17A1 so that it was easy to distinguish uh, the variant that was inside of the carrier. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So, uh, that's, that's really it. I guess I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that this is kind of just, like I said, a quick video to tell you all the, the, the three patterns of the, uh, ABCM 17 carriers. So, uh, I'd use the first pattern for a 1960 through late sixties issue kit because it would work for any of them. Second pattern, like 63, mid, mid late 63s to, uh, through, uh, the end of the war. And then, uh, with third patterns, it's right around 65, 66 to uh, the end of the war. So... There you go. Uh, hopefully this helped you. Hopefully you can source the correct carrier you need or figure out which model of the carrier or pattern of the carrier that you have. So uh, yeah, uh, that's really it for this video. See you guys later.